look who's here. It is Bull star Nazi Muhammad. He is fresh off from a trip to South Africa. He's going to tell us why he went when you and me return. 748, Nazi Muhammad is known for his work on and off the basketball court. The Bull Center is just about to begin his 18th season in the NBA. We'll talk about that with him. Plus, he's got a big fundraiser that's coming up later this week. And Nazi's joining us now. He has a preview. And you're awesome. Thanks for coming in. Right after your trip, are you awake? Yes, I am. Bare I barely. Woke, I actually woke up about 5.30. Because uh, are you still on South African time, kind of? I'm somewhere in the middle. Okay. <laughs> How long good. were you guys there? Tell us what you were there for. Uh, I was there for the NBA Africa game. Uh, I was there for a week. It was, uh, the game was on August 1st, and it was just the first, uh, first NBA game on African soil. So it was just something that was just huge. I was so happy to be part of Team Africa. That's really cool because all the players in the NBA who are from African countries played mm -hmm. on Team Africa mm -hmm. against other t uh, members of other teams, correct? Yeah, yeah team, uh, team World, so people from all uh, you know, over the world who are in the NBA, so it was just right. incredible. I saw Paul and his brother, the Gasol yeah. brothers yeah. went. Yeah. Gasol brothers. Chris Paul. Yep, went Chris from Paul. New Orleans. <laughs> how, yeah. how was it received? It had to be amazing, the energy out there, to be able to see you know, all of you guys out there. Uh, it was an amazing, amazing event. I mean, the league within, with, with us players and other people that invited was over 400 people there from the league offices, and uh, it was just the fans were incredible. It was yeah. just a monumentous kind of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. Re that's really cool. I saw one of the players commented that when he was growing up in Africa, he was like, "I wish I could have been able to see the NBA." Yeah. So it'll be cool to see how this changes over the years, and if the team ever does exhibition games there, or actually plays games in Africa, that would be neat. Oh yeah, they had we had camps, so we had also had the top. I think 60 or so boys and top 60 or so girls who play basketball. That's good awesome. too. From you know from Africa, and we did different clinics and stuff with them. And uh, the game is definitely going to spread over there. I was going to ask about the kids. I was going to say yeah. for them to be able to you know get to touch you, see you, and right. uh, how many dreams had to be inspired you know inspired because uh, of you guys. They were definitely yeah. excited. Uh, I mean, it was just they constantly just wanted to come up to us and just touch us. <laughs> Things like that. that. So you had to get used to somebody just coming up to you and just touching you. And, <laughs> You're you know, not used to that <laughs> at all, like this. right? Yeah, like, okay, it's, he's real. It's real. <laughs> yeah. Now, you've got your big charity event coming up uh, this weekend, and this year it's in support, of, in support of organizations that fight autism. Yes, it is. Uh, it was something that, you know, I like to change it up every year, and I like to change it up to do things that kind of touch my life. And this year, uh, through friends, autism have touched my life. Uh, so I wanted to do something for autism, and we was donating to uh, Easter Seal Chicago and Turning Point Autism Foundation. And uh, we just, you know, it's going to be a casino. It's going to be a charity casino gala. Oh, you switched well, it up this uh, yeah. year a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, gonna, Where is it going to be at? It's going to be at Gal Galleria Marchetti. Oh, yeah, right. uh, 825 West Erie. Mm -hmm. We had a good uh, time right last year. Yeah. Okay, so same location. Yeah. Same location. Just you're mi mixing yeah. it up a little. Yeah, okay. I love the venue. I mean, the Me venue too. is it's, it's amazing, and I'm, came, I'm looking forward to it this Friday. Yeah, I like the way you change it up, though, because sometimes you go to the, to the same charity event every year, and it's the same exact yeah, like, thing. Oh. This one's a little bit different. Now, there's some stuff up for auction. I saw online. Did I see a Stephen Curry jer jersey? Yes, you did. Oh, okay. Yes, you did. Uh, Look at this. It pays to have friends in that place. <laughs> Does he know you have it? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I, oh, I, saw, him, uh, I, I saw him last, uh, I saw him a couple of weeks ago in Las Vegas uh, at our BET Players Choice Award. And yeah. uh, we, we talked, but uh, oh, yeah, I'm so happy to have that. I have uh, Russell Westbrook's jersey, nice. Kevin Durant's jersey. I'm working on uh, working on uh, James Harden's jersey. Nice. But we have a lot of other things. I mean, the sponsors really came in, and a lot of people donated great items for the silent auction and our raffle. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's yeah, there amazing. was some good stuff last and year. Tickets yeah. are still available, right? Yeah. You, you can are, still get in on this. Yeah, tickets yeah. are still available. You can uh, go one of two ways. You can go to nazimuhammad.com or all in for autism dot eventbrite.com okay. and uh, you can purchase the tickets and we still have some VIP tickets available and we have some regular missing tickets too. Okay. Awesome. Now okay. quick, tell us what's happening with you for the next season because you 18 years in the NBA for real. That's amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep, so yep. are we going to see you here on our home court? What's going uh, on? I'm still trying to figure it out myself okay. actually. I, I have a lot of opportunities to kind of make myself present uh, throughout the summer and uh, I'm excited about but I still, you know, have the feel that I want to play one more season. Uh, 
So I don't know. You know, I still talk to, you know, Gar almost every other day or so. So, you know, we're talking and we're trying to see, uh, you know, what I want to do next. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see what it is. We know it's going to be great. Uh, keep doing your thing. Okay, the people of Chicago be really yeah. We got to see you again. One more yeah. season, right. you know? Yeah, it'd be us one more season. Yeah. Those um, bones could take it. Yeah, you uh, can. Yeah, you look good. <laughs> all right, the, four, uh, the fourth annual Nazi Muhammad Foundation fundraiser will take place again this Friday. All the money raised, as you, ben uh, as you mentioned, will benefit Easter Seals Therapeutic School and Turning Point Autism Foundation. So please get tickets. Go for information to nazimuhammad.com. It's a lot awesome of fun, stuff. just so you know.